Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Weaves from Slide Nerd here. In this video, I'm going to talk about naming conventions in Java. Now, if you're a beginner, you probably have this question. Why do I need to follow conventions? I can name whatever I want. And what is the problem with that? Well, you can. You can give whatever names you want, provided you follow certain rules like not starting with a digit, not using anything other than the underscore and dollar sign and stuff like that. But there are certain conventions that are going to make your code easier to understand, not only for you after six months, but also for other people who read your code later. So here in this video, we are going to discuss about the different conventions that you must follow or you can follow to make things better for others. For example, how to name identifiers. So an identifier, as you guys remember, is the name of a variable, method or class. Variable and method names always start with a lowercase letter. Now remember, if you're beginners, you probably never followed this much. Or if you're from C sharp programming environment, the syntax slightly differs from there. Again, in Java, you mess up. But given that you have a variable int count, public void add as the method this is how you name them all small letters next we come to the issue of camel case you probably heard this word before if you are from cc++ but if you're totally new don't worry about this if there is more than one word that is stuck together to make up a variable name or a method name we use something called camel case now what does that look like take a look int person name Person is one word, name is another word. Both of them are stuck together to make a single variable name. In that case, the first word is fully small. Every subsequent word starts with a capital alphabet. That is what camel case is. Take another example over here, which says int number of people who are present. Again, notice all those red colored alphabets which I have. They are the first alphabets of the words and they are capital for all the remaining words except the first one, right? Same with method names. I say download from internet, which is a method and the same way you name stuff. So now how to name classes in Java. Class names should start with an uppercase letter. For example, you say class person It's completely capital starting with capital alphabet B. Don't use the dollar symbol in names. Now, there are programs that generate code for you, like automatic code generators and stuff. When you generate code that uses dollar symbol, people think that it was made by a program, not by a human being. So don't use the dollar symbol, even though it is perfectly legal to use it. Remember, the compiler is not going to give an error on this. It is us who follows conventions that makes sure that code becomes readable and understandable to others. How to name stuff in Java? Now, for constants, if you guys remember, there are certain, certain values which are constants that don't change throughout the program. For those, you simply use all uppercase letters. Now, if you remember, when you're chatting with someone, you never use caps lock, right? Because the other person finds it very annoying or they think that you're trying to scream or shout on them. But that is exactly what you're supposed to do here. For example, if you have a variable pi, which is a constant, say public final static end pi equals to 3.14. Again, another example, when you have number of targets, again, notice here, there are multiple words. Since all of them are caps lock, I use underscore to separate the different words so that I can read them clearly. Now, if this final word and the static keyword doesn't make sense to you don't worry about them this is how you declare constants in java but i will explain the meaning of these two words at a later video in my playlist choosing meaningful names now take a look at this formula over here which says a equals to math dot pow blah 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 do you guys figure out what is going on here i am the guy who's reading this and i'm not able to understand what is being done over here but on the other hand take a look over here Amount is math.pow, principal, blah, 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 interest into number of years. Now, seeing the second statement, 
it actually gives me a rough idea that I'm trying to find some type of interest over here and that is why you choose meaningful names for your variables because you want the other person who reads your code to understand what you're trying to exactly do in each and every statement that you write so hopefully you guys understood how to name stuff in Java and what conventions must be followed for writing good code if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day